Yes, hello class. Um, today I would like to talk about the REST web service. So as I said in class, um, the REST web service is a type of service that we use when designing, um, sorry, is a type of architecture we use when designing web services. The REST has a peculiar characteristics you know, when you compare it to the SOAP. And the first thing is REST is a very light and quick um, architecture. REST um, is very performance, you know, heavy. So the idea is if you are thinking about, you have a large customer base and time is really your essence, then the idea is you want to build your web service using um, REST. Um, and REST also can be in XML or it can be in Java service oriented, um, which we call JSON. Now I'm going to show you in SOAP UI how to test a REST web service. And I'm going to show you how to create a project and you verify that the web service designed in REST is working properly. All right, so I'm going to go open up SOAP UI. Um, everyone knows how to do that. You press File, and now there's an option for a new REST project. So I'll click on File, and I'll select a new REST project. Now, unlike SOAP, REST does not have a wisdom. So that's what makes it a little bit less secured, meaning I can easily guess the name of a REST web service. In fact, there are four types commonly used. I'll talk about them a little bit later. But all you need to, to test or to create a REST project is what we call a URI. And that's very similar to an endpoint you know, in the SOAP. So I have a URI from Google Maps. I'm just going to copy that and I'll put that into the SOAP UI. So once I've done pasting it, I'll press OK and I have my REST project. Um, let me explain quickly what you're looking at. So by default, when you create a REST um, project, uh, the first service that they're going to give you is what we call the get method. Now, what is a method? A method is essentially um, a type of web service. So in the REST, we have different... Let me just make this bigger, the font bigger. Okay. So in REST, we have different methods. And the, the most popular type is the get method. The get method is essentially you're trying to read from the database. So you're trying to get something, you know, so you're asking the web service to go fetch you some data. Um, also popular is um, the update. Also very popular is post. Also very popular is the delete. And um, they all do different things. But essentially, you know, you find most of the time when you join a company and they give you a REST web service to test, you're probably going to start off with a GET um, REST web service. Then you might do a delete just to see what happens. You might do a post and you might do an update. And um, these are the four commonly used. Now in SOAP UI, as you can see here, the default one was the GET. Um, REST web service. So now, in this, the method is get. That's what I explained shortly. The endpoint, this is where the web service actually lives. So I can tell this is a Google Maps um, address. And you can see it's dot dot HTML, sorry, HTTP maps dot Google API dot com. The resource is part of the endpoint, you know, and it's just imagine is it is an address that further finds where the web service uh, lives. And your parameters is essentially your test data. You know, so what exactly am I playing with? You know, what can I give to this web service? What does it need from me? We call that parameters. 
as you can see in here the default parameter which is the address and I can change the address to any address I want it to be so I can change the address to um, let's give it a class location so let's say 301 burn um, up road west and I can say tell this web service to go get me this address and I can press the run button and you can see right away we have a request message coming back so it's quite simple you know a lot simpler than a soap web service um, you know if it was a real-life test part of your test will be to verify the content of the response message and you can see very quickly um, the, where we teach is in the pure region you know is in Ontario is in Canada so I can tell that's the postal code I can tell that this web service returns the correct address I mean it's Google so we know you, we know it does work all right so that's how you create a very simple get um, rest web service but there are more you know you want to create more methods so how do you create more methods it's really simple so you click on this little icon here you right click on it and you say new method now in my method it's going to ask me what method do you want to use we've just played with the get we can try the delete method so i can give it a name or i can just call it method 2 or i can say delete address optional press ok and i have in my diagram here i have let me just see if i can make it i'm trying to get rid of this little box <laughs> okay that's a little trick that works good so i can see that i have my delete address and you can see my request one in there if i click on that request one it's already open for me i can start so i can try to delete an address from google okay so let's try to delete um, the default address i'll press run and it probably won't allow me i don't think google would actually allow anybody to delete um, an address from their database so as you can see back the response message that came back says um, that's an error and it says the request method delete is essentially not allowed right for this endpoint and it said that's all we know but anyways that's how you create more methods to test a rest web service um, we can try another one we can try the insert so I can say okay click on the XML this icon right click on that and I can say new method and I can call the method my um, let's try to put press OK and I have the put method in here now I can change my address if I want to maybe let's try a different 160 press enter and I can run this and I, I probably won't be allowed as well obviously Google would allow you to put a new address into their database um, sometimes when you test in web services you know for, for um, and it has to do with the put so the put uh, the delete sometimes you might need to put an extra query you know you may need to add something else to your request message this will be given to you in the requirements documents of any web service you're testing but essentially this is where you add that extra um, input that you need to run the web service so for example if i want to maybe send something in xml okay which is not allowing me to do that but anyways this is where you type out the extra queries that you're required to test the web service so from a very high level we can see how to create um, rest methods and as I said very short very quickly there are four major types of um, get of rest methods you know we have uh, we have the get we have the put we have the delete and we have the post so once you have your request messages in here and they are from different methods how do you create a test suite the process is essentially the same way as you create a SOAP test suite so I'll open up my request message 
and I'll click on this little guy here there's a little icon in here that says add this request to a test case so I can say yes add that to a test case create a test suite for me I'll give it a default name I'll say test suite 1 press OK the name of the test case I can just say test case 1 as well press OK and um, is asking me for um, so I'll just you know keep all the default values and just keep pressing OK and as you can see in here there's a test suite actually being created for me and I have my test steps in there okay so how do I run this is essentially the same way I click on the on the run and I have my response message coming back now how do I add an accession you know that an accession is a checkpoint is where you actually put a checkpoint into your request message to ensure that the, the value coming back in your response message is the right value and to do that first of all you have to create you know convert your request message into a test case before you can add accessions into it so once I've done that the process is exactly the same way as so I'll click on this icon here the third icon he says add an accession to this item for example if I want to verify that Mississauga is returned as the um, city so I can copy the long name copy everything like that just copy it add an accession and I can say contains now the different types of accessions the most type I use in my career has been contains you can go the opposite and say I want to verify that Mississauga is not returned you know it depends on what you're trying to test and I can paste that tag in there make sure there's no empty space and I can press OK so now whenever I run this you will notice that the accession is gone up the counter for the accession is gone up so I have one accession in here if I push the play button you can see that my accession passed and that's how you know that your test case actually passed if I change the address to um, let's say let's pick a different let's pick something in Toronto so let's say 301 Front Street West on Front Street West Toronto now I know this is not going to be in Mississauga so this should fail the accession should fail so I can run this and right away you can see that I got back a failure because it was in Mississauga all right so that's very from a very high level that's how you create a rest project I've showed you how to create um, so let's go back quickly to the notes so I've showed you how to create a REST um, web service. Sometimes you might hear the name RESTful is the same thing. So don't get confused. They're saying the same thing. REST web services are very popular with companies that have performance in their mind. So they want a very light and quick web service. So companies such as Facebook, um, Twitter even Google you know a lot of these companies they have um, rest API's you know what an API is an API is a web service you know that allows me to talk it is, 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 is an access to a web service it allows me to communicate with the web service so if you join a company and they say hey we need you to test a rest API for us you know exactly what to do you use SOAP UI, ask the company for the URI, which is where the rest lives, and um, you can create your service. We have different methods in, in, um, in REST, so we don't call them, you know, in, in SOAP, every web service has a different name, but in REST, they all have the same name. That's why it's less secured. Does it get something, you know, it put something, it delete something, or it posts something? and also rest can be in XML or it can be in JSON quickly I'll show you how to convert back and forth if I want to convert this web service into a JSON what I would do is very simple I'll go in here and I'll double click in there 
and I'll change the XML into a JSON. So don't forget your backslash. I think there was a backslash there. Now I've already converted the XML. I'm telling SOAP UI make the messages into a JSON. I'll close it. And if I run that message, um, you have to now click on the JSON tab to see what comes back. As you can see, they're very similar. You know, in fact, some people prefer to read JSON compared to XML. But you know, the choice is yours, really. It depends on what the requirement is, what the company needs, you know, and things like that. But that's how you convert the the message type from an XML to a JSON. So I'll do it again one more time. Click on the XML tab right here, this icon. Double click on it, and I can change it back from a JSON to um, an XML. Close it. Once you're done, once you run it, the JSON will no longer be valid, so you have to click on the XML to view your script. Okay, so that's the end of the XML tutorial. If you have more questions, I would advise you to click on the Help, Getting Started, and um, SOAP UI have a very, very easy to understand help, um, help topic on REST. So you can click on the REST, and they have quite a few things in here that explains how to use or test a REST service. Thank you.